welcome back today I am going to discuss on more problems relating with the integrations by the method of substitution here the problem is integration of 1 minus 10x or divided by 1 plus 10x dx by careful observation we will found that there is no part which is the differential of other part that is why first of all we have to make sure that one part is the differential of other part for doing that we decompose 10x as a sine x by cos x and after calculation we get integration of 1 minus 10x all divided by 1 plus 10x dx equals integration cos x minus sin x all divided by cos x plus sin x now if you observe it very carefully then you'll find that the numerator is the differential of the denominator and we know that the integration a prime of x dx by f of x equals ln of f of x plus c that means if the numerator is the differential of the denominator then we can write law of ln of absolute value of the denominator in part of that sense this integral can be written as ln of absolute value of cos of x plus sine of x plus c where c is the integral constant here the denominator is cos x plus sine x here's the another important problem integration of 1 by 1 plus 10x dx similarly uh, 10x can be written as sine x by cos x and by the calculation we get integration dx all divided by 1 plus 10x is um, integration cos x all divided by sine x plus cos x dx here cos 2x can be uh, re, uh, cos 2x can be written as uh, sin x plus cos x plus cos x minus sin x and that is why uh, I have written here um, 2 cos x but doing balance we also put here half um, and after that we get the half of integration sin x cos x plus cos x sin x in the denominator sorry in the numerator if we do calculation again we will find the 2 cos x and sin x and sin x will be cancelled that is why 2 cos x can be written as sin x plus cos x plus cos x minus sin x now if I divide the first um, part that means the expression within the first bracket first first bracket then we will find that it will be the 1 and again dividing cos x minus sin x by sin x plus cos x we get integration of cos x minus sin x all divided by sin x plus cos x dx now doing integration we get half x because the integral of dx is the x and in the second integral we will find that the numerator is the differential of the denominator so we can write ln of denominator plus c where c is the integral constant dear audience um, I am I am going to do the other problems and I hope that those problems can be done by yourself from the book. Dear audience, now I am going to discuss another type of problems. Here, the problem is integration dx all divided by 16 plus x square. 
and 16 can be written as 4 square so this integral is similar to the integral integration dx divided by a square plus x square and the integral of that um, standard form is the 1 by a 10 inverse x by a plus c where c is the integral constant here in place of a we have found that 4 so this can be written as 1 by 4 10 inverse x by 4 plus c similarly in the problem number 2 that means question number a28 to here you will found the same standard form that means integration of dx whole divided by a square plus x square and here if we write 9 as a 3 square then it will become the similar to the standard form and we can write 1 by a 10 inverse x by a plus c that means 1 by 3 10 inverse x by 3 plus c where c is the in integral constant for doing the third integral of the question number 28 uh, first of all we have to make it free that make the x square free from the coefficient here the coefficient is 4 that is why I uh, take 4 as a common that means using the distributive law we find uh, 4 times of x square plus 9 by 4 and 1 by 4 uh, I put outside of the integration sign then we can write dx whole divided by x square plus 3 by 2 whole square here it is also the standard form um, integration dx whole divided by a square plus x square here in place of x we found we have found here 3 by 2 so it can be written as 1 by a 10 inverse x by a plus c where c is the integral constant so in place of since in place of a there is a 3 by 2 so can write 1 by 3 by 2 10 inverse x by 3 by 2 plus c and after calculation we get 1 by 6 10 inverse 2 x by 3 plus c it is the another problem another type of problem and it is the similar to the um, integral dx whole divided by a square minus x square and this integral equals sine inverse x by a so first of all we have to express this integral as the standard integral integration dx all divided by square root of a square minus x square so 25 can be written as 5 square and after that we can write sine, sine inverse x by a that means x by 5 plus c where c is the integral constant if I would like to make it standard form first of all we have to remove the coefficient of x square for removing the coefficient of x square 16 we take it uh, common that means using the distributive distribution law we get uh, a dx integration dx whole divided by square root of 16 times of 9 by 16 minus x square mm. here a can be written that means 6 9 by 16 can be written as 3 by 4 whole square and it is also the similar form to the standard integral integration dx whole divided by square root of a square minus x square so it can be written as sine inverse x by a here a is 3 by 4 so we can write sine inverse x by 3 by 4 plus c and after calculation we get 1 by 4 sine inverse 4x plus sorry 4x by 3 plus c dear audience um, in the third integral of the problem number uh, 29 we get the um, first of all we have to um, take the 4 is uh, as common to make 4x square free from constant free from coefficient and applying the distribution law we get integration dx whole divided by square root of 4 times of 5 by 4 minus x square 
and here we can write uh, 1 by sine inverse x by a that means a means here root over 5 by 2 and after calculation we get half sine inverse 2x by root over 5 plus c where c is the integral constant dear audience uh, now I'm going to uh, you can solve this problem um, similar to similar as previous similar to the previous problem that means using the standard integral um, integration dx or divided by a square minus x square but applying these integral first of all we have to make the given expression uh, similar to the standard integral that means um, 1 divided by square root of 1 a square minus x square for getting that expression first of all we have to um, remove the 3 which is the coefficient of x square and for that um, we take 3 as common and then it becomes uh, integration dx whole divided by square root of 3 times of 2 by 3 minus x square and here 2 by 3 can be written as uh, written as square root of 2 by 3 whole square square root of square root of 2 by 3 whole square minus x square and here in place of a we'll get the root over 2 by root over 3 that is why applying that integral we get um, sine inverse x by a plus c and after calculation we get 1 by root over 3 sine inverse root 3x by root 2 plus c dear audience now i'm going to do the another type of problem it is the first problem of the question number 30 and in this problem we have to determine the integration of dx whole divided by 9x squared minus 16. Dear audience, we know a standard integral um, which is integration dx whole divided by x squared minus a squared and which can be written as 1 by 2a ln of x minus a all divided by x plus a to make it that standard integral first of all we have to take we have to remove 9 which is the coefficient of x square and for doing that um, we take 9 as a common and that means applying the distribution law we get integration dx whole divided by 9 times of x squared minus 16 by 9 here 1 by 9 can be uh, put outside of the integrations then it becomes x squared and 16 by 9 can be written as 4 by 3 whole squared here in place of a we get 4 by 3 so it can be written as 1 divided by 2a that means 2 times of 4 by 3 ln x minus a that means x minus 4 by 3 4 divided by x plus a that means x plus 4 by 3 after calculation we get 1 divided by 24 ln twice x minus 4 4 divided by twice x plus 4 dear audience to make it simple form if we multiply both of the numerator and denominator after the loan we get 3x minus 4 and 3x plus 4 dear audience it is little bit different uh, with the previous problem why because your x square is used before the constant and here x square is used after the constant that means here 9x square 
minus 16 is given and here 16 minus 4 x square is given dear audience to do that first of all we have to remove the 4 which is the coefficient of x square from it and doing the applying the distribution law we get 4 times of 4 minus x square here um, 4 can be written as 2 square and x square is x square here and um, we know the another standard form of the integral that is the integration dx 4 divided by a square minus x square is the 1 divided by 2a ln of a plus x 4 divided by a minus x so since 1 by 4 integration dx 4 divided by 2 square minus x square is similar to the standard integral that is why we can write 1 by 4 1 divided by 2a 2 means 2a a means here 2 and ln of a plus x that means 2 plus x and whole divided by a minus x that means 2 minus x plus c is the integral constant here after calculation we can write 1 by 16 ln of 2 plus x whole divided by 2 minus x plus c these problem also can be done in the same way dear audience Here's the another problem, uh, another problem, and dear audience, I, it is a quadratic expressions. Denominator is the quadratic expressions. To make it square, first of all, <coughs> we have to consider the coefficient of x here. The coefficient of x is here half, so we can write x square plus two into x into the half of the coefficient of x is half so we put here half and plus that coefficient whole square but here half whole square is not given that is why again I subtract that this half whole square and here the first three terms can be written as x plus half whole square because we know that a square plus 2ab plus b square equals a plus b whole square here we consider x as a and half as b then it becomes a square plus 2ab plus b square that means a plus b whole square that means x plus half whole square and in place of minus half whole square we can write half whole square your audience the coefficient of x is the year one so no need to um, remove the coefficient of x here <coughs> and it is uh, similar to the standard form the integration dx whole divided by x square minus a square uh, and the integral of this standard form is the 1 divided by 2a ln of x minus a whole divided by x plus a so we can write here 1 by 2a that means in place of a there is half so we can write here half ln of x plus minus half here in place of x there is x plus half and in place of a there is a half so we can put here half similarly the denominator can be filled out and after calculation we get ln of absolute value of x whole divided by x plus c whole divided by x plus one plus c dear audience it is also an another uh, quadratic equation and making this square we get the 3 square minus x minus uh, 2 whole square and it is the standard form as the integration of dx whole divided by a square minus x square and that is the 1 divided by 2 a ln of <coughs> a plus x whole divided by a minus x so we can write here 1 divided by 2 a that means 2 3 ln a plus x that means 3 plus x minus 2 and whole divided by 3 minus x minus 2 plus c after calculation we get 1 by 6 ln of 1 plus x whole divided by 5 minus x plus c <coughs> since inside the quadratic equations there is a, sorry inside the square root there is a quadratic expressions so making it square we get 
integration dx four divided by d square root of x square plus four x plus thirteen. Uh, we can write here the integration dx four divided by d square root of x plus two whole square plus three square. Then here <coughs> we know a standard form that integration dx whole divided by square root of a square plus x square plus a square can be written as ln of x plus root over x square plus a square plus c. So here in place of x there is x plus 2 and in place of a there is a 3. So we can write ln of x plus 2 plus square root of x plus 2 whole square plus 3 square plus c where c is the integral constant. Now after calculation we get ln of x plus 2 plus square root of x square 4x plus 13 plus c. Here c is the in integral constant. <coughs> Dear audience, I hope that you could understand the today's lesson. Again, I will come along with a new video tutorial. Till then, goodbye.